Let's explore the revelation of oxygen. Meet Jane. She is a chemist and spends most of her day experimenting in her lab. Many of her experiments require an essential gas, oxygen. It was Joseph Priestley who more than 200 years ago made the astonishing discovery on August 1, 1774, when he obtained a colorless gas by heating red mercuric oxide. In short, Joseph Priestley carried out an experiment that showed that plants produce oxygen. In his experiment, he put a plant in a closed container with a burning candle. Quickly the candle flame went out, using up all the oxygen. Continuing his experiment, he was able to relight the candle. This showed that plants produce a gas that allows fuels to burn. This gas is oxygen. He further used mice, which revealed the instant death of the mouse without a plant and a longer lifespan with a plant inside. And with such revelations, photosynthesis was proven. However, at that time it was not identified as oxygen. French scientist Antoine Lavoisier continued the research and provided the oxidation theory, putting a name to Priestley's discovery. Oxygen is a colorless, odorless, tasteless gas. Its main chemical property is combustion, which means it helps other objects to burn but it pure oxygen itself cannot burn. Approximately two-thirds of the mass of the human body is oxygen because oxygen and hydrogen make up water. While we need oxygen to survive, too much of it can kill us. Priestley's knowledge exceeded science and physics and reached across subjects and fields including theology, teaching and politics. One day his knowledge of chemistry, led us to the path of one of the essentials to the existence of life, oxygen. So now you know how the air, we breathe was discovered in 1774. Let's take a deep breath full of oxygen.